Hi, my name is Brianna. Uh, welcome to my art and philosophy channel. So, I just talked about the developmental process of life and our journeys, and this is something that really ties in with that, but it's a little more specific to finding, like, like how do we how do we relate with you know what's right or what's wrong what to do what not to do and i found that it's all very very relative and adaptive to the moment personally so for instance let's say you're experiencing anxiety sometimes the solution to treat your anxiety might be that you need to get up and you need to just take care of some things. You need to take action and you need to go do something. At other times, the solution to your anxiety might be that you need to stop doing stuff and you need to just do nothing and take it easy and just trust and relax and let go of your to-do list and the pressure on yourself of what you need to do. How do you know which it is? That's something you have to go in and inquire and connect with within yourself. And in life in general, I think it's not about learning to say yes more, learning to say no more. It's learning to say yes and no at the appropriate times. It's having the capacity. So sometimes we have to develop. Like you might be a person who tends to say yes. That's where you're comfortable. You're comfortable saying yes to people and saying yes to things. You might be a person that's more comfortable saying no and being closed off and apprehensive saying no to things. So is it one wrong and one right? No, they're, they're, they're both right and they're both wrong. But they're, meaning they're just appropriate for different circumstances. And so we have to learn, we're the captains, we have to navigate. So I have to develop, if I'm accustomed to saying yes all the time, I have to work on developing my capacity to say no. I have to pull back from that tendency and I have to really start to build that new muscle that's very weak and I have to build up my no muscle. And sometimes there will be trends like this and things will be happening kind of collectively with groups of people where a lot of people are working on, you know, their boundaries and how to say no or how to say yes and open up to possibilities and, and, and be more trusting. And then it's like what I touched on in my other videos, like you want to be like, okay, so this is the way I have to say yes more, I have to be open and trusting. Sometimes, <laughs> other times, no, that's very problematic. I see it as developing the equal, equal or as close to equal capacity to came within yourself to do either. So that you don't have some blockage around saying yes or some blockage around saying no and you dismantle those blockages and inhibitions around either of those things. And then once you do that, now you're able to look and you can, maybe not easily, but you're capable. You have the capability to make the right call, whichever it is. So now you just have to use your discernment so you don't have just a general habit or fear that's controlling you or directing you, you have the capacity for both, for yes and for no, to open up and trust, to close off and say no, thank you. And you're able to do both. And then you just choose and you trust in yourself what that decision is instead of allowing external factors, forces to sway you in either direction. So yeah, that's kind of how I, I've come to really understand and see life is like You know, that the two, two sides of the pole, and it's like a little baton. I don't know, I'm thinking of a baton flipper, twirler. And you, can, you can work with either side, and you need either side. Both sides are important 
Just like masculine and feminine energy. You need masculine energy and you need feminine energy. But you need to know when to engage either one. You need that discernment. But you're not going to have that discernment. You're not going to have that capacity to necessarily choose the correct one for you in that moment if you're very weak on weak on one side and overly strong on the other because then it, it's not very balanced. And that can look different for each person, especially with masculine and feminine energy because that's very personal and unique to each person. But it's just about you. It's about you, how you relate to, you know, it's good to have strengths and your propensities and to work with those, but also develop those things that maybe you're weaker at just so you can be in balance, just so they don't become hindrances and just so you can make correct choices for yourself that are going to actually support you in what your strength is, in what your desires are, in what your purpose is. But, you know, I think it's helpful to get away from these sort of, you know, mental structures and ideologies that start to try to create this like one ideological way and approach to life and usually it's, it's 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 more nuanced and complex because it's really according to the time and place in the situation and everything can serve some sort of valuable purpose and function and it's just about using it appropriately at the appropriate time. So how do you figure that out? Well, that's something I think we each have to discover, you know, within ourselves through our own journey and what it is for us. And then that adds up to these, uh, you know, group, I don't know, cultural, societal structures and rules and laws and customs and things, they add up from that and inform each other. And yeah, I'll talk about that more in another video. Uh, the individuality versus the collective and like what, what that really is and understanding how that fits together. It's such a complex thing and I don't have it all sorted out, but I have some ideas about it. So. Yeah, let me know what you think about that, about how you've experienced anything in your life where you found where you had to work with, you know, two maybe seemingly polar opposite ways of being and to develop them so that you could navigate both of that instead of having like a block, you know, around one and, and you know, where your little safety zone <laughs> and an imbalance in that area. So yeah, let me know and share that. If you have any uh, thoughts about that and your experience, I'd love to hear it. And you can check out my work on the website, listed below. And yeah, like and subscribe if you want to stick around for more art videos, philosophy videos, and whatever else will come along on this channel. Thanks.